because U.S. law shield has expanded to include any justified use of force, we get a lot of questions about knives in Pennsylvania and to a certain degree clubs. So let's talk about those two items. So unfortunately in Pennsylvania, we have a patchwork non-uniformity when it mostly comes to knives and carrying knives or bludgeons or you know uh, things of that general nature. We do have state law and a state law is called prohibitive offensive weapons and that makes things like an ass baton very questionable and that makes a dagger which is a double edged that's the common use of it double edged knife uh, to be illegal in Pennsylvania. And so there are different municipalities that make different laws. For example, Philadelphia is extremely restrictive when it comes to uh, knives and possession of knife, lawful possession of the knife when you're not using it for immediate work purposes. And so it's very advisable that you become very aware of the law and the restrictions that a municipality properly passed before you go there with even something as simple as, as a folding knife in the case of uh, Philadelphia. Spring activated knives are not prohibited offensive weapons. We get a lot of questions about that. A spring activated knife is, is one not unlike this benchmark that's right here where it opens by uh, use of that. An automatic knife, meaning one that works with just a flick of, the, uh, of a button or a slide up of a button. That would be the definition of those would be illegal in Pennsylvania, but a spring assist is not Commonwealth versus Miller is the case. Um, there are restrictions when it comes to knives and bludgeons and, and, and things of that nature that have to do with weapons that are not unlike when it comes to uh, handguns, uh, federal buildings, U.S. Postal Services, uh, prisons, uh, and, and things like that have, have restrictions whether or not their policy or law is going to depend upon the particular place that you're going to go. Uh, black jacks per se, uh, meaning of themselves, is something that is, uh, is not going to be something that is going to be entirely lawful here in Pennsylvania. Uh, collapsible batons, man, I would love to carry one of those around, but it's a, another gray area in Pennsylvania um, because of the way that the statute is written. So the bottom line of it is when it comes to knives and when it comes to bludgeon-like objects, um, we really have to be careful here in Pennsylvania because there is an entire patchwork. There's no uh, preemption in terms of is a knife going to be considered deadly force? Well, absolutely, because it's capable of being used as a, a deadly weapon. It can cause serious bodily injury or death. Same is true with, uh, with, with just about basically anything. I mean, you could pick up, um, you know, a, uh, a lamppost and that can be considered a deadly weapon under the terms and definitions in Pennsylvania. So we have to be very aware that when we use, use it, display, reference it, do things like that, that we have to be entirely justified under self-defense or we could be facing a lot of trouble. That's the law in Pennsylvania.